What would it mean to you to finally have an answer when it comes to your daughter's case? Well, it's closure. It's, it's certainly not going to bring John Bonet back. I think it's more important for my, my children and my grandchildren that this be put to bed. It was the case that captured the nation when John Bonet's body was found in the basement of the family's Colorado home. There's a number of items that were taken from the crime scene that were sent originally to the laboratory in Virginia to be tested. The Boulder police withdrew those from testing. Not sure why, but they weren't tested. They should be. You know, that was 20 years ago, 25 years ago. That those were tested. Technologies advanced dramatically. Brand new DNA technology is available that has already solved nearly 50 cold cases. I've been told by detectives that are seasoned, know what they're doing, detectives, that this is a DNA case. It'll be solved by DNA. Familial DNA genealogy research that a number of police departments have done that has been wildly successful in cracking old, old cases. This weekend at the CrimeCon convention in Las Vegas, John asked people to sign a petition calling for the governor to hand over the DNA to another agency for testing. More than 2,000 people have signed it so far. That's the objective, is to bring public pressure on the government to do the right thing. If you could make a direct plea to Governor Polis, what would you say? Please do the right thing here. Right after our interview, Governor Polis said the state will review the petition. The Boulder Police Department tells us, in part, multiple suspects have been run through the system to check for matches due to the huge advances in DNA technology. This was a subhuman creature that did this, and I don't know that I'm told that they this isn't a one-time thing for a criminal of that nature. He may have murdered other children since. He may have murdered children before. We don't know. That's got to be put to bed.